all we have to do is plug this in, prime this, and pump it in here. Quick update on the home build. We did receive the base plates for the steel. Seems like there's quite a few in each box. Oh, look at that. That's oh, nice. Yeah, they that. put that there for shipping. That's all. It's a nice, a nice piece. little piece. Dude. Could use that stuff. Oh, yeah. There we go. Oh, oh yeah. A lot of them. There you go. Oh, so that goes so to the cement the and then everything gets bolted to that. Oh, they gave us all the little vertical tubes, too. These also, they're going to go sit in the concrete all the way around and the rebar goes in here. And we're still waiting on the permits to be approved. And that's pretty much it. It's in the shed. Something in the shed's making noise. You've left the fan running the whole time? No. So why was it running? Left it on. So you did leave it on the whole time. It doesn't shut off. Mm. I can't believe it. That's like a miracle. That thing ran for two weeks. Been working off of an old battery down in there. Been running all day. 12.3 volts. For one of those little 20 watt solar panels working great. I think the lights draw like half an amp and the fan maybe like one amp. With the solar panel, it's working perfect. <laughs> I'm just so excited to be able to have a hot shower. I don't care what it takes. Easy. That thing's important. All the stuff we need. I don't know. All the stuff I have. Instead of using that hand pump, I was hoping we could use this stuff. Gotcha. So I'm going to plug it in, plug it in there, and I'll have the switch. And we could run the pump. I'm going to put this hose down in the well. So if I plug this thing in, right, I'll take that off. So this is positive. So this would be negative. Like that. It's important not to touch these two together right now because that would probably blow a fuse. Let's just confirm red is positive here. We have 14 volts coming off this battery. That's beautiful. I'm just uh bored. Yep. <laughs> and wanting a hot you shower. Just, <laughs> <laughs> you just want a shower. This is what it entails for us to take a shower. But it only shower. entails it once. That's right. So now we have a pump that we could plug right into the ATV. Great. I did browse through the directions. I didn't read <laughs> them. I browsed. That's impressive though. And for I did you. see something to say in the directions not to run the pump more than 10 seconds without water going through it. Mm. I can't believe it's 8 o'clock. It is. We're almost there. All right. All we have to do is plug this in, prime this, and pump it in here. And then you said we're doing what after our showers? We're going to feel like new people. And? Maybe we'll go get some dessert. Ice cream? Yeah. All right. We have a six foot hose. Oh, I can't see the water it goes at down all. there quite a bit, but I think it'll be just enough. I don't care if it makes a mess. It's just water. I care. So really, I just want to see if this works. Ready? Okay. It worked for a second. 
It sure did, didn't it? Yeah, that's blown. I don't know if you can't see you it, but I can fuse. see it. It's only a, a seven and a half amp. 9.5 amps. You are Mr. Fix-It, right? Yeah, make it happen. You're gonna make it happen, I know you are. I'm gonna get that hot shower yet. I got <laughs> I want a shower, <laughs> damn it. Oh no, it was at 7.5. On the top of it. 7.5. Yeah. No it's good. A, it's a trickle charger. All right, so that was a big waste of time. I got something. What do you got? I have a little piece of copper wire. Let's put it in this one because we know we're done this one. So let's do that. This is taking a lot longer than we expected, huh, honey? I hear you huffing and puffing. <laughs> I'm thinking I may not get my shower. We're going to get the shower. All right. Well, it doesn't matter what time it is, right? Nope. All we got is time now, honey. Yeah, I hear you. All right, I think we got something. Ready? Oh, the what? <laughs> <laughs> Were you ready? Were you ready? I was not ready. <laughs> Here, I'll pump. All right, good. All right. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> That doesn't happen to everybody. <laughs> All I did was put it down. I I'll, bet you glad. <laughs> I'll bet you're glad that you wanted to take a shower, right? <laughs> All right, let's see if we can get this in there. I cannot take it anymore. This is the out. And we're going here. It's in the water, right? Mm hmm So we should be able to pour all this in and prime it up. Oh my God. You have to pour out the hole in the side of the jug. That's well, ridiculous. We, fill this up. we could have just pumped the water in from well, the hand pump. All right, here we go. Let's see if you can make this happen. Go Ready? Ahead. I'm gonna go easy. Go Let's easy. see what happens. It's working. It is working. Oh, look at that. Oh, that feels Yay. Good. Pumping pretty good. That's pumping freaking awesome. That's fantastic, honey. Oh, wow. It took long enough. How many gallons does our trailer hold? 26. Okay, so this is a 30 gallon cistern? 35. 35. I think we might have a little problem though. Every foot's like a gallon and a half. We just have to make sure the water flow doesn't stop. We might have lost our height, huh? We did, we lost our height. Look. It's burning, I smell it. It's burning that <laughs> All right, hang on. So I knew we were gonna lose it. I should have went longer than 10 Yep. Feet. We'll do it until it's dry. It looks a little dirty. It's filthy. It's disgusting. It's like poop water. It's starting to get slower. Get ready to turn it off. We should dump this out and start again. Let's think about it for a minute here. Let's see how we bad don't... it looks. It looks really bad. Wow, it really looks bad. There's no sun left at all. I know. I think we're done here. What do you mean? I think we're going to have to shower tomorrow. It is terrible. I'd rather not shower than shower in that disgusting looking It'll water. still feel good though. No. We'll pick this up tomorrow. We'll go get ice cream. Okay. That's life on the homestead. Whoa, whoa. Oh, well, that, no. That got away from we're at Stewart's. Richie just got ice cream. I got spoons. I may not get my shower, but I got my ice cream. Yay. We got our ice cream. Oh, true. I'm sorry. Thanks, honey. Let's go home and eat it. All right, here we go. Oh, yeah, I see him. Oh, he's pretty big. Actually, that's a pretty big one. That's the biggest one I've seen yet. Yeah, there he is. I see his head. Now he went under that rock right there. Thirty-two feet. It's gonna go on here like this. Quick zip here. All right, so that's pretty good. That'll work. So you're gonna want a washer in there too. This washer was in there. Our neighbor's using his wood chipper. I know. All right, go. A little bit more. Stop. I'm in the water. Yep. It's only three feet. What do you got? 24 inches. 24 inches. So it's three. The water's uh, a foot below the surface. Exactly what you said. So how many feet are left? And that'll tell us how far down we are. 
the hose is 20 feet underwater because we're three feet off the surface. We were gonna try to get a fuse at Stewart's last night, but we both forgot. It just got late and we got tired and hot and... We had ice cream on the brain. We did. It's gotta come back out. The wire reaches. Okay. Let's see if it happens. One one thousand. It's already coming out. That just got disgusting. That was like a real gross. A rusty. Moment. A lot of rust right there. So the well is clearly not filling at five gallons a minute, which is what it was when we first purchased it. Not only that, it's gross looking. So we're gonna wait right now. What time is it? It is ten thirty one. Well, it's 10.41 and it's still pretty far down there. We gotta keep an eye though because it's gonna run dry before this is full. And it might get brown right before it runs dry. Yeah. Almost ready to stop. Yeah, the color's getting a little darker too. Right here. Oh, definitely. As soon as it ran dry, I got a big burst of brown water and it just contaminated Because it's always the at thing. the top. But we weren't paying attention. I thought I had more time. I did too. That's, the water's no good. We can't put this through the camper. We're going to have to wait and do it again. Well, the idea here is I'm going to try and just pump it slow and see if I can get some cleaner water. Rich and I just drove up the driveway on the ATV together. And we came up on a doe feasting in our little field here. She doesn't even care. The water is looking nice and clear, beautiful. So that's a plus. So the dirty water is over, that's been resolved, and that was just a matter of lack of use. I guess. I think. Um, and our solution for filling our RV is currently, Richie will sit and pump for two minutes because it pumps at five gallons a minute. That gives us 10 gallons in the cistern. Then he has to wait 15 minutes and come back and pump another two minutes for another 10 gallons and then wait another 15 minutes. And then again, one more time, pump for two minutes. And that gives us a total of 30 gallons to fill the trailer with. It's only a temporary solution but we have a call into the well guy and we will get this fixed. Go. Ready? Pop yep. Back. This little pump works good. It was a really great idea. Waste and water. Waste and water. Oh my God. After all the hours it took you to get it. Oh my God. Get in there. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Oh, that scared me. <laughs> I thought it was done. No, that See, was, that's why I can't do this. That was the pilot light, and then once you get the pilot light lit, you turn on the gas, and then. Okay. Oh, let me do without you, honey. You I were, couldn't do it you without you. Take a hot shower. How's that shower going in there, honey? It was worth it. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs>